Well, hello. What I want to do in this last video is to summarize the key takeaways from this course and prep you for the final exam that's going to be this coming Monday, the 10th through Tuesday, the 11th. Now, my goal for this class was in the short term to understand key components of financial statements. I don't want you to be accountants, but I want you to understand some of the terminology. And then I want you to have been able to, when you evaluate a project, consider all costs. Understand the difference between fixed costs, variable costs, marginal costs, total costs, etc. And that got into the actual direct labor costs and direct material costs of products. That was the first couple weeks of the class. And then finally, and this is the most um, what? most emphasis of the class is to evaluate projects and projects are evaluated on the basis of after tax performance uh, variable. So that performance variable can be the after tax net present value, the after tax annual worth, the after tax internal rate of return, and to a lesser extent after tax payback period, discounted payback period. And typically in industry, this is done with the net present value or the internal rate of return. And maybe they pop in a little bit about payback period. Annual worth is not done as much in industry as the other two variables, net present value and internal rate of return. And once you put together a base case um, where you've been evaluating a performance variable, you need to perform a sensitivity study on that performance variable. And that's what's going to set you apart from uh, others in industry, is the way you do sensitivity work. Okay, so that those were my goals for this class. It's basically a project evaluation class, understanding financial statements and considering costs. Now, for the final exam, it's going to be released on Monday um, at noon. It's going to be due Tuesday at 6 p.m. There's going to be 10 to 12 problems on the exam. Um, there's going to be a break-even analysis problem or two, internal rate of return analysis for more than one project that requires incremental analysis, comparing projects with different lives, the prepayment amount of the loan, calculating um, material, labor, and overhead costs, and the key element ratios of financial statements. And finally, there's going to be a problem where you have to calculate uh, the project's after-tax net present value, which will incorporate using depreciation. This problem is probably going to be the most time-consuming, but my goal for this exam is it's a three-hour exam. You have 30 hours to complete it. So I, I don't think it's unrealistic. Um, obviously, you got to sleep, but you, you know it's a three-hour exam. So that's my goal for this exam. You can send me a text message. I will, uh, and I'll put a, I'll post an announcement. I can't make the office hour this week. I'm going to be completely out of pocket um, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I will respond to text messages on Sunday, and I'll respond to late text messages on Friday and Saturday. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the class, and I um, I think you're going to be using this information the rest of your careers in evaluating projects.